for the life that I came from, the way that I treated myself, and the way that them people treat me now, it's two different worlds. We are so glad that you're here. Let us worship God. Central has always been very involved in all types of people. Uh, doesn't matter where you came from or what your background is or anything. Uh, everybody is welcome here. I'm treated with love, caring, and understanding. And I feel welcome. Times are different now than they were when I grew up. And people have more problems in their life than they had when I was again a kid. That volunteer spirit is alive and well. The folks here at Central are very, very willing uh, to step forward uh, when there's an opportunity for ministry or service, when there's a need to be met. The church always responds um, very wonderfully whenever a need or a request goes out. Just the friendliest church I think I've ever been involved in and visited and also just the outreach into the community is really an important aspect to us. They had weather thing on TV and was telling us that there was some bad weather coming through, but they didn't, you know, they, they didn't think it was gonna be that bad. So I was sitting up in the living room area and all I heard was glass, crack, you know, the windows crashing. So, and I knew my guys was back there. And I was so afraid to go back there because I didn't know what I was gonna find. There are very few uh, churches in the Knoxville area that have specialized ministries uh, to special need adults and, and individuals. Um, it's one of the things as pastor, I feel like is, is our niche, our calling. We sure appreciate it. We appreciate everything they do. They gave us a place to stay, a place to eat, and a place to shower. And that's all they need. Uh, many of them work at Sunshine Industries. Uh, and we're just barely tapping into that population of our community. It really impressed me. I didn't realize just seeing them at church, how capable some of them are to do work that I saw them doing. It makes them feel like they're a part of the world, and productive, and a part of society. And they are just part of, of our congregation, and we love them all. I think the congregation has realized that it's not so much a ministry to special need adults, but with special need adults. I mean, it, it is a ministry together. It's a mutual ministry. If a person is hungry, we need to feed them. Well, Central has a, uh, a food pantry that's open two mornings a week. Um, I think it's one of the ministries the church is uh, very, very proud of. Not so much primarily for the homeless population in Knoxville, but for those who have jobs, have homes, but struggle from paycheck to paycheck. They come from various parts of the, of the county, city. Most of them are from around in this area. However, they do come from other areas. This is one of the bags that we give to families of three or more. Alcoholics Anonymous uh, meets here uh, five mornings a week. The church furnished a 12-step program down in uh, availability room for our 12-step meetings. They often uh, refer to Central as their church. Narcotics Anonymous uh, meets here on Wednesday nights and Sunday nights. On a given night, there could be anywhere from 80 to 120. This is, for, for many of them, the, the only time they ever enter a church facility. Uh, youth groups come in and do house repairs uh, and outreach uh, as, as a part of their mission trip. By hosting groups like Alternative Spring Break, this church can, um, can foster a sense of community. 
if this church weren't available for those practices, then a lot of groups would look to other cities for, um, for housing and for projects there. And so without, without this church, there wouldn't be as many groups coming. We worked with Second Harvest, actually, um, the food pantry. Through Operation Backyard and the Knoxville Leadership Foundation, we found this church as a, as a good place to stay. Oh, I would just love to say that this church is beautiful, and we've appreciated all the hospitality that they've given us. In a typical Christmas weekend would probably be 30 young people with probably an additional 50 to 60 adults who put on the weekend for them. The, the youth uh, come from all kinds of different churches, not just Methodist churches, but churches of different denominations. The uh, Emmaus community is, is called the Smoky Mountain Emmaus community. It is an ecumenical weekend attended uh, by all denominations. Eight different counties in the Knoxville and Knox County area. Folks come and they are allowed to just completely get away from the rest of their lives and spend some t intensive time uh, pra learning about the practices of the Christian faith. Our front door neighbors, many of them so happen to be without a home. They're homeless. They live on the street, under bridges. And uh, it's a way that the church can be involved in mission and outreach um, to those that uh, uh, churches often ignore. Volunteer Ministry Center Meal is a monthly uh, lunch that we provide for the homeless. It is served at the Volunteer Ministry Center and it is one of the ways that this church reaches out to the homeless population. This youth choir coming from another United Methodist Church, uh, you know, about 80 miles away from us, are actually coming to do mission work in downtown Knoxville. They will be working over the weekend with uh, the homeless population, and they're staying here at our church. Every year in February, we come up for this trip to Knoxville, and so we, uh, we stay here at Central. Um, along the way, we'll often stop in Maryville and sing at the Asbury Retirement Center there. Um, one of the traditions for us is to, uh, to sing at the Knox Area Rescue Ministry. Finding churches that can host a group our size has become kind of difficult. With a connection with Central, I've been really excited that, that they've been able to host us. It's the church that I've grown up in. I've, I've been in this church 67 years. Uh, made a lot of friends. Uh, we've got a Sunday school class that's like, we're like a family. Uh, we look forward to being with each other at Sunday school and at social functions that we have. Uh, my family, th I'm, this is fi our five generations in this church. We have the facilities and we want them to be used. We simply provide meeting space for the DAR. Uh, they have a monthly meeting and they use our church here. Our neighborhood Forf and Gill uh, group that meets here monthly, they have a fellowship supper once a month. The Census Bureau do census worker training here. We are also a location uh, for uh, the ninth precinct, voting precinct. The UT Extension Agency uh, we'll uh, use our church for various training and classes. The U University of Tennessee Marching Band has a, a color guard, and uh, during the winter months, because they can't get out in the cold, they will use our gymnasium for practice. Now we're seeing people migrate back to the inner city, and uh, I think this church has a very promising future especially if it continues to focus on outreach and ministry beyond the four walls of the church. The community itself as a whole is what the church looks like. Oh, that would mean a lot to us. It means everything. I, I really do celebrate Central and the work that they're doing. The church has come a dime a dozen. I'm in my 30th year of being a pastor in the United Methodist Church. Uh, I've served uh, very, very rural, small congregations, county seat towns, uh, but I have never experienced 
legitimately a more accepting, welcoming congregation than here at Central. Folks here at Central are very, very willing uh, to step forward when there's an opportunity for ministry or service, when there's a need to be met, just come and give us a try. We feel like that there's something very special here for us.